At long last, we finally got ourselves a set of KC Flex Aero 4 lights. Like a lot of you out there, this is something that Cindy and I have been trying to get our hands on for the better part of a year now. But I'm glad that we waited because these things look awesome. And let's be honest, how a mod looks or is gonna look is a big part of why we install what we install on our Jeeps. I mean, I could bore you with what I've read on Casey's website about Lumens this, or Lux that, or Candela's this or that. But who would I be kidding? It's all Greek to me and I really couldn't tell you what any of it means or why it makes a difference. Like a lot of you out there, I'm a simple kind of guy. And all I really want from my lights are for them to be made well, to look good, to work, and to work well. And from personal experience, I can tell you that KC's have always been that and done that for us. Anyway, these guys, we're gonna install them right here on the front bumper of our Jeep Gladiator. Now, I should point out that the Gravity Pro 6 light bar that we have installed does an amazing job of lighting the way and all the way down the trail and even out to the periphery. But we've always wanted just something a little bit more to help fill in the space between it and our headlights. And I think the Flex Aero 4 light with the combo beam lens is the perfect light for the job. Fortunately, there really isn't a whole lot to getting these things installed or at least assuming that you already have a light mount on your front bumper. Simply pick a hole, place light in place on the washer, thread on the nut, and then using a 17 millimeter socket or wrench, you can secure it in place. is that. As far as the wiring goes, Casey does provide everything that you need, including relays and fuses and even an in-cab rocker switch. However, if you're going to be installing these lights on your factory auxiliary switches or if you have something like a Switch Pro switch system like we have, all you really need are these guys. The pair of white, black, and red wires that go to the lights. And pretty much everything else can go. Okay, so what we can do is cut the red wires and the white wires. And this black wire, as you can see, is made for ground, so I'll go ahead and keep that terminal there. And we'll just cut this guy off right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take white wires which actually control the amber back glow on the lights and we're going to pair them together <laughs> then we're going to do the same with the red wires these red wires control the lights themselves Let's get this thing wired up. So you can see there's a long end and a short end. Let's feed it up and through at the bottom. Take the long end, plug it over on the driver's side.
right, so now that we have everything routed up toward the battery, I'm gonna take my main leads here, this red one, and connect it to this orange wire on our Switch Pro system, which is for switch number three. That takes care of the lights. Now, our rock lights are on this brown wire right here. This is switch number one on our switch system. And I'm thinking, because it's such a low draw, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe install an add a circuit just to make things quick and easy. I know that some of you may disagree with this method, but I think it's gonna be fine for what we're gonna do. Take an add a circuit. that in place and even though we put on this butt connector earlier I think we can go ahead and get rid of that Last but not least, the ground wire. Now there are multiple points on the fender itself that allow you to attach a ground, but because we have a Switch Pro system, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect it directly to this ground stud that they provide. Okay, just so I can test everything out, I'm gonna hook this up loosely for now, clean up the wiring later. Just wanna make sure everything turns on before I go crazy with the cleanup. All right, let's test things out. All right. Bumper. Let's go see if they're on. Awesome, looks like everything's working. Let's see if the amber backlows work too. Perfect. So I've got the amber back lows attached to our rock lights. So essentially they're just gonna be this dim amber glow whenever we're crawling through the rocks. I think it'd be perfect, especially for spotters. Now all I gotta do is clean up the wiring and take it out on the trail. So this is a simple test, but one that'll help give you a better idea of the kind of light that the Air Force put out. And I'm gonna show it to you in conjunction to everything else that we have on our Gladiator. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn on the headlights. And then I'm gonna turn on the high beams. 
and then I'm going to turn on our Gravity Pro 6 light bar. Now the whole reason why we got these Aero 4 lights is to help fill in everything else in between and now I'm going to turn them on. Wow, what a difference. Now I'm going to turn off all the lights and just turn on the Aero 4s. I mean you literally could just use these. This is all you need. This is amazing. Now I should note that these are the combo beams. The spot beams obviously would be a little bit different, but what I'm seeing here is phenomenal, for my purposes anyway. Thank you. 